Hey guys, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how painting can help you reduce stress. These are eight tips that I have learned as a professional artist, and they have even helped me fall asleep and stay asleep, especially if I do this right before bed. So if this is helpful, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you would also like to see more animal painting tutorials. All right guys, let's get started. About three years ago, I struggled with severe depression and major anxiety, and a, a big part of what helped me was my relationship with Christ and also being creative. I used to think art was just creating something that looked exactly like the image, but that is so not true. I, I realized that it can be this expressive, therapeutic, almost meditative state where I can pray, I can do deep breathing, and slow down my mind. So that leads me to my first tip, and it may seem a little unusual, but I actually do this. Um, recently, I do deep breathing. I inhale deeply, exhale deeply as I'm painting, and I'll do that about 10 or 12 breaths on and off throughout the whole time that I'm painting, and man, does that help. Meow yeah, wants to join us. I will always have my animals next to me. They bring me so much joy. And so I'll have my cat, I'll have my dogs, I'll light a candle so I'm not smelling something nasty next to me. I will have the lighting set up so it's not super stimulating, it's not super bright. I will also have um, classical music playing, something slow that is just not gonna, um, get me ready to dance or get me ready to move, but something to slow me down. I will make sure my chair is comfy. I'll often say grab a cup of coffee. I just find a cup of coffee while I'm painting really soothing. So create an environment that nurtures creativity by just setting it up so it's very um, tranquil. My next tip is use colors that you love. So if you love teal, add some teal. If you love red, add some red. I, I'm always using bright colors because they're so cheerful and they're so bright, but sometimes those darker colors may inspire you. So choose the colors that you really love. You can't rush creativity. So although I'm a firm believer in creating a painting and relaxing in 30 minutes, if you have an hour, that's awesome. If you have two hours, that's even better. But I would always recommend uh, a good chunk of time that you have to unwind and be creative because depending on how stressed out you were going into the painting, it could take a lot longer to unwind. I will often scroll through Pinterest. I will look on Google. I will walk outside and with my camera and just take random photos of animals, plants, pets, <laughs> things that I see that really bring me so much joy. So, and that may take a little while. It may take um, a couple hours, it may take a couple days, but finding that image that brings you joy, that excites you, that inspires you, will really make that experience so much more enjoyable. My next tip would be learn the basics. Get some direction from either a YouTube tutorial or from a personal lesson that will teach you how to use acrylic or to use oil paint or to use watercolor. That way, when you know that you can use a certain product, you're just way more comfortable in the process. I cannot say that I'm a pro at this because this is something that I've always struggled with, but turning off my brain so that I'm not concerned with the final outcome and what it's gonna look like is key. It's, it's all about just the process it's not about the final result. And when you're painting, focusing on how, I, how you're applying the paint to your brush, the beautiful colors, the smells of the candles that you lit, the sounds of the music, everything ties into it. So focus on the here and now as opposed to how it's gonna look later. 
if you're someone like me <laughs> who is definitely afraid of making those mistakes, I use acrylic because if I mess up, I can just paint right over it. So if you like watercolor, by all means use watercolor. If you prefer oil, by all means using oil. But the medium plays a huge role. Oil takes uh, days, weeks, sometimes months. It's done that for me, months to dry. Watercolor can be a bit more challenging because you really have to know technique in that. You really have to know how little or how much water to add. But again, nothing has to be perfect. But I just think that acrylics can be very forgiving because if you do mess up, you can paint right over it. You have it drying right away. So if you want to add more shapes, if you want to add more layers, you can do that pretty quickly. Before I close, if you would like to see the making of this painting and how to paint a large pet portrait, make sure you check out my next video that I'll be posting very shortly. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that is helpful for you this crazy holiday. If you have any other helpful tips that have helped you, um, be sure to leave that in the comments. And if you have any questions for me personally, you can email me at rose at laurenelizabethfineart.com. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. I'll see you again. Bye.